Also, uh, reviews are coming out for Lord of the Rings Golem. And apparently, <clears throat> interesting thing here, a lot of times things are representative of other things. Um, in this case, uh, Lord of the Rings Golem is very akin to a human's ass. Um, <clears throat> that's basically where we are. Apparently, and it's not a nice ass either. It's like one that needs some work. Uh, it is, it is, uh, it is apparently like, according to skill up, but I will say I do disagree on things with every so often, but according to skill up, it is possibly one of the worst games he's ever seen. Like ever. <laughs> so, uh, like, wow, <laughs> that, and he's seen a lot of games. Um, so this, this is, uh, it's, 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 it's a thing. Yeah, it's a thing. So I, the, the, here's, here's the problem. We may have to check out Lord of the Rings Golem. We may have to check it out a little bit. And of course people would be like, why would you do that? Well, it's because my boy Triwar apparently made an awesome overlay for it. <laughs> so he's like, dude, a little eye of Sauron like looks around in 3D. It's awesome. So I, I fear that the overlay may be better than the actual game. Um, but I may I may have to I may have to check that out and uh, and see. Just do a sponsored hour and get the bag and nope out. Oh no 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 I'm I'm not doing any I'm, I have no plans for any sponsored work with it. Um so yeah maybe maybe we'll take a look at it at some point, but we will see. Hey, thank you T with Mandy subs! Flood this channel with hearts. Show these raiders who are taking a death from these swine. Thank you very much for joining us. Our friend T with Mandy. Mandy is an absolute peach. She is awesome. Thank you very much. And as soon as the raid has calmed down a little bit, uh, we will see T with Mandy's channel shouted out. Make sure to toss her follow. You will not be disappointed. She's very cozy. Okay, so we're going to play this game and see how far it's come along. This is a very cool, creative, interesting game. If it's anything like when I played it before. And uh, I'm actually really looking forward to... Look at this! Eating and drinking sounds. You can turn them on and off. What? I don't think I've ever seen that before. How cool. Look at that. That's fun. Uh, okay. So, the way that this game works is it's essentially a survival game. But the cool kind of gimmick with this game is that you build your own world. And, um, it, well, you, you know what? Let's just play it. I'll show you. I'll show you. The conflict between the settlers and the first people was at its peak. The drums of war echoed across the land like a never-ending thunder. While war raged on, a love blossomed from the fields of hate. And from that love, a child was born. Ayana, who had eventually grown into her own, chose to travel the lands and learn for herself the histories of her lineage. With a heavy heart, her mother stayed behind in a town called Corpse Creek. Corpse Creek? On one fateful That's evening fun. in Corpse Creek, the midnight skies were interrupted by a light of brilliant green. The awe of such an event quickly dissolved into horror as a flurry of stones of flame descended upon the town. Most folks fell victim to the debris and smoke that consumed the land, but the survivors quickly discovered that the bodies did not remain still for long. That night, Ayana had stayed in the lumberjack settlement far away from her beloved mother. Yeah, that, that does happen in a game called Corpse, or in a town called Corpse Creek. You wait. Your backpack. Hit tab to open your backpack. You can access your backpack at any time. You can manage your inventory, craft items, and view your current quest. Note that some items require a special crafting station nearby to be craftable. Oh. Here's a crate. Got some coins. And a book. Hunter's Rest. 
Warm hands. I don't know what that did, but we'll take it. Oh, is there a temperature thing? Thirst increases over time, but also when eating dry, sweet, or salty food, it can reduce, be reduced by drinking water. Hunger increases over time. It can reduce by eating raw food or by cooking several ingredients. <clears throat> Sanity reduces in response to several occurrences, such as when searching a grave or making contact with the lost souls. Then fatigue. Okay. At least it's warm and dry here. This is perhaps the only place now in Hunter's Rest where that could be the case. Alistair, thank you for purchasing something off our store, buddy. Really appreciate you, dude. Um, also, quick note, by the way, before we keep going. The Cochonk plushie now has a, uh, has a time. 7th of June. If you want a Cochonk plushie, they are going off the store on the 7th of June. Keep that in mind. That's your, that's, oh God. Q to rotate the camera left, E to rotate the camera right. Sometimes things can be hard to see from a certain angle. You can zoom and rotate the camera with the right analog stick or your keyboard. I'm gonna use a keyboard. Cool. That's a corpse. Oh my, oh my. Sniffles and weeps. What are we to do? The horror that came over us. Are you okay? I know, but first things first, are you okay? I'm not hurt, so I guess I'm okay. It's just her voice cracks. My house, my beautiful house, it's in shambles. And the whole town, look at me bawling my eyes out over my house while all those people lost their lives. The whole thing is such a mess. How can I help? Actually, yes, the whole town is in ruins, so we can use all the help we can get. We need logs to rebuild. Even though we have the sawmill over there, I doubt whether we'll have enough logs to rebuild those houses. What did you see last night? The whole house shook last night. Did you go outside and see anything? When I felt the rumble, I jumped out of bed and ran outside. I saw the skies crack open, and suddenly these black and green stones came hailing down. That's when I ran into the house where you stayed, trying to find shelter. Do you have an axe? I'm searching for my axe, but I can't find it among these ruins. I do have this flint, though. If you tie it to a strong branch, perhaps you can craft yourself a primitive axe. Also, these hard antlers for you, which may be useful. There will be plenty of materials around here to craft some primitive tools. Gather branches from pine trees. Open your backpack and craft a primitive axe. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, can I make anything now? Yeah, nothing yet. Okay. Oh. Yeah, this is very different from the demo I played. So we're kind of this is this is brand new. Ah, <clears throat> oh, there we go. New blueprint, primitive axe. <clears throat> Excuse me. Craft item. Great. Uh, how do we equip it? It's automatic. With this primitive axe, I can take down trees to get lumber. Chop a tree. Axes increased to one, to two, to three. Where are my skills? that rocks are another useful resource for building i can make a primitive pickaxe and smash some rocks around here okay, where are my skills oh okay so we have a full inventory we've got a gear level we've got axes pickaxes bows rifles building stamina cooking and fishing i got a quest log I'm not sure what this is yet workbench tiers Go get the damn fish! I will. A lot of different recipes. Oh man. Okay. A lot of different item stuff. Okay. Let's craft that pickaxe. Mm -hmm. Okay. That was the old sound. Hey Barry, that that sound seemed really loud. Is that just me? New blueprint flint. Make it with rocks. Go make one. There he says louder in all caps. That's a choice. Okay. Definitely a choice. 
Barry makes good choices. Go oh, get the damn fish. Uh, what do you guys say? Maybe a little lower. Mm -mm. Yeah. Go so what we're doing now fish. is there we go. Perfect. There we go. Uh, for default overlays, all of the sound effects that we record are going to rotate. So anytime you guys do a combo for the fish or the VIP Go, get the damn fish. or the good show or any of that stuff, uh, it'll now rotate between Wayne, Adam Jensen, um, me, uh, Go, get the damn fish. Lindsay. Okay. Okay. Barry, we're good. What's up, girl? All right, time to get started, wouldn't you say? The sawmill was only set up to saw lumber, plus it's unusable in its current state anyway, so I have to build a log cabin instead of a plank one. But first, oh my, how can I forget? Before we can build a new house, we need to take down the old one. My mind is really as much these days. If you craft a hammer, you can use it to tear down my old ruined house and free up some space, and later you can adjust the house if you need to. Get plant fiber and craft a hammer. Okay. Acura Star. Oh my god, even GameSpot is not taking the bag and giving a one out of five. The Lord of the Rings Golem must be really bad. Wow. Okay, Mithrim Deer Who giving away a code shock plushie. Thank you, dude. Thank you very much. Good luck, everybody. Man, that is rough, dude. That is rough. Got us a branch. Can we build a hammer now? We can. Let's do that. Use the hammer to alter pre existing buildings or ones you built yourself. You will get back some of the resources. Keep down. Boom. Okay. Start building, I need to make a workbench. Some plants around here should give me the plant fiber I need. Bum, 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 brum. What's all this stuff? Congrats, Echo, on your win. Make sure to click that link and claim your prize, my friend. Thank you very much for that. Appreciate you being here, and thanks again to Mithram Deer Who. Okay, so now we gotta build a workbench. Should I do that with this? How do, I, how do I actually build? Do I craft the workbench? Yes. Okay. Oh, nice and easy. Okay. Rotate with R. Copy right there. Oh. With your workbench, you can craft building parts to create shelter, crafting stations to refine your resources, and both useful and decorative furniture. Upgrading a workbench enables additional crafting recipes but requires certain materials. Cleaned up the mess that the meteorites created. Time to build a new home for Joe Ann. There's more lumber at the old sawmill. Craft at least four foundations at the workbench and build a new home with walls and roof. Nice. Okay. All right, there's that. Just height. Well, that's cool. Okay. The better a shelter is constructed, the more shelter it provides. The more shelter it provides, the more perks it will unlock that give bonuses. I am picking up what you're putting down. Okay. Mm -mm. All right, let's see. We need to find this sawmill. Is that... Let's see, where's the sawmill? I guess we can just cut down a bunch of wood. Let's do that. Congrats again, Echo. Damn, I'm vibing with this right now. Dude, just wait until you get to, like, the cool part of the game. Everything so far has been, like, a basic survival game. It gets cool. We'll see here in just a few. 
It gets real cool. It's already pretty cool, but it gets it gets real. Oh my god, trees can fall on you. Okay, good to know. Good to know. All right, we got a bunch of lumber there. Can we actually go in this sawmill? F for the barrel. Ooh. Call that. I can't go into the sawmill. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, is this like an endless supply? Oh, no, it's not. That's too bad. <laughs> Hey, Co, I'm on audio only. Can you carefully describe everything you're looking at so I can picture it in my brain? Sure. So where we are now is... All right, let's talk to this girl here. Build a new home with walls and a roof. Okay. Uh, we need a door. Hmm. That was artistically descriptive. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, no, we're not playing Golem right now. Uh, let's get a window. Uh, now we need, like, what? Six of these. Mm. And we need some roof. Roofing. Mm. Okay, now that you've described yourself, can you talk about the game a little bit? Nice. Well played, friend. Well played. What a nice little house. I need stairs. I need stairs, stat. I need stairs. There we go. Please. You build a raft from trees? Uh, I, I don't, we're, we're gonna talk about that more as we get to the next part of the game. Wait, what? How does this work? Uh, oh. Is that, is that good? There we go, great. What I think of the PlayStation Showcase? I think we made a guess at the beginning of the PlayStation Showcase about what it is. And I think that we, and I think looking back, I'm pretty sure we were right. And what it what it is, is the assumption is that the PlayStation guys knew they didn't have any heavy guns. They knew they didn't have any huge announcements. So they wanted to get their show done early and out of the way. So people would get the big announcements from the other companies and talk about that instead of them doing their showcase afterward and being compared directly with all of the other big companies. So, I think that's what they did. I think th I think they realized that they had they had an okay show. Dragon's Dogma Two was cool. Ghost Runner was cool. The Spider Man stuff was fun. Um, uh, Phantom Blade looked kind of cool. Like it, it was it was it was it was an okay show. It wasn't bad, but it certainly wasn't overwhelming. It certainly wasn't like, oh my God. You know, it, like PlayStation has done some incredible shows in the past. This was not one of them. So I think they had a good show, but I, I think they knew that they probably weren't going to be able to compete directly with the SGF crew. So they were like, let's do this early. Let's let it simmer for a while. We'll let SGF happen. And then my hope, I don't know if this is actually going to happen, but my hope is that they'll do maybe a second show. Because if you noticed, we didn't see anything about Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. And that comes out this year. So, I'm, I am I, if I kind of told myself, if we see stuff about Rebirth, this is probably going to be the only show. But because we didn't see stuff about Rebirth, it makes me think there's going to be something else. It makes me think they, might have, they may have some more stuff for maybe a month or so after SGF. So, yeah. What are your thoughts on Marathon? Uh, I'll make this real quick because I want to focus on this game. 
I like Bungie. I like that they're making an extraction shooter. Marathon looks... I, I'm not sold on Marathon yet. I, I'm, I'm Games that go the art style over immersion... They all, they, that, that's all, that's, like, they're, they're clearly, like, that world, that, it's, it's very obvious and clear that a world like that would never exist, and I, and that kind of takes me out of it. One of the reasons I love, like, Dark and Darker and Tarkov is because they're, like, grittily, they're gritty and real, and this is the opposite of gritty and real. This is overblown, exaggerated, super bright colors everywhere. Like, it's, it's designed to be pretty to look at. It's not designed to be immersive. And, and I'm one of those people that, you know, yeah, those are kind of cool, but I, I tend to have a hard time staying in those games long term. But And here's the last thing I'm going to say about Marathon. I grew up with the original Marathon, and I grew up with Marathon 2 Durandal. And I have to say, I've always been hoping that one day Bungie would bring it back as like a reboot or a remake or something like that. And I have to say, no matter what I think of the current game, no matter what I think of, of this iteration of Marathon, there's no question that this Marathon has nothing to do with the old Marathons. Like, if they tie it back to the lore, it's going to be just, like, thrown together and haphazard. Marathon is to Bungie what Prey is to Arcane. That's the connection. Marathon, the new Marathon is to Bungie, what prey is to arcane and what that means is it's only related to the originals by name only maybe they'll tie in a few little lore things but Mar the original marathon and marathon 2 were nothing like this new one nothing so it's i i and that's kind of sad to me that's kind of sad to me um i kind of wish that they would have not i kind of wish they would have called it something else and not marathon um because, again, nothing aesthetically, nothing really story related from the looks of it. Like, it, it just, it's just, it's just, it's not, it's not your daddy's marathon. <laughs> it was very weird to see that. And then at the end of it, see that iconic logo that viscerally makes me feel things. It was very weird. Um, so, yeah. It was that that I'm I'm not super jazzed about Arras, that. Chicken. because again I always kind of wish that they would bring back Marathon one day I kind of hope they do at some point they kind of reboot not reboot them but just remake them, um. But yeah, so that was that was honestly that was disappointing. That be again I that being said I am I am here for a bungee extraction shooter, so yeah and and to be fair to be fair. Um, I liked Prey's, Prey by Arcane better than the original Prey. So, you know, maybe maybe Bungie's onto something. I'm certainly willing to give him a chance. Um, but yeah, I have to say that viscerally and initially, I was kind of put off that they took this thing that I loved from childhood and turned it into this kind of like flamboyant, stylized thing that it wasn't, to put it bluntly. So it, it's just, it's just weird. It's like a completely different thing. It's like, it's like a, it's like two completely different worlds, two completely different products, like two. And you know, it's, it was just, it just felt weird. Felt a little weird. Yeah. But again, I think it's going to cater to, I think, I think the current marathon iteration will definitely cater to more people. Um, I think it does look good. I mean, it looks cool. That's a crazy cyberpunk bright world. I mean, it could be fun. So crazy Jimmy says, so what you're saying is the nostalgia monster raised its head and ate you. Yeah, I mean, essentially, you know, get off my lawn, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. That's that's essentially what happened. Yes. So anyway, this is a short co-explanation. Oh God, you don't want me to get into this. I c I could talk to I could talk about an hour. I could t literally talk about this for an hour. But anyway, wow, look at that home. Great work, Ayana. <sighs> There's something else that requires our immediate attention, though. I just realized that the person lying over there is still breathing. You've had me running around building your god dang house and you didn't even check if the dude had a pulse? What have you been doing all this time? He inhaled the smoke of the meteorite last night and fainted. Later on, some debris seemed to have wounded him. When I found him this morning, I checked on him and it certainly was not breathing anymore. Oh, you thought he was dead. Oh, good. But maybe there's still hope for him or he's going to eat you. You know what to do? I have never provided medical care. 
Bandages should help stop the bleeding, but maybe there's still some left in the clutter of the old sawmill. Can I go in here now? Oh, I can't. I wasn't able to before. Oh. You can take short sprints to move faster. Be aware that sprinting costs stamina. If your stamina is low for a longer period of time, it will have a negative effect on your fatigue. Hmm. Hey there, how did you sleep? Let me slept fine. I didn't sleep well. The world's ending. I couldn't stop turning. Green flashes before my eyes and that horrible rumbling in the sky. And have you seen this place? It's ruined. It used to be so cozy in here with everyone. Ooh. Okay. Let me just take this random skull. Bandage. There we go. Old candle holder. Take. Hmm. Nope, sorry. I want that book. How do I take that book? I saw it. I saw it. There we go. It's my book now. I'm going to literary myself. All right, let's bring back the zombie. I could watch a once a month show of co-rambling about should have and should have nots of the industry. <laughs> don't, don't tempt me. Oh no, he turned into one of those things. Be careful, they're extremely aggressive. Space to perform a dodge roll. Performing dodge rolls will help you during fights. These lands are full of dangers, especially at nighttime, such as wildlife or the lost souls that are roaming around since the plague. Be careful. Ow. And now I'm a zombie. Oh, wow, the hitbox seems really weak. There we go. Okay. Loot! I mean, he's dead now, so might as well take his stuff. All right, cool. That's some brimstone. All right. That poor guy. I think that people who inhaled the smoke of the meteorites are turning into these monstrosities. It's so horrible. You look pale. Are you okay? I could be better. I can imagine maybe you should get something to eat. You should have some food around. The surroundings of Hunter's Rest always have berry bushes aplenty as well. I want to use this map and search for some berries to snack on. Hard work and fighting have made me hungry. I should go find some berry bushes and eat a bite. Place a Plains World Piece. Eat some berries. So this is where this game gets cool. So you basically build your entire world. And like, you get all these tiles. And you have to build the tiles. And then what's cool is if you put like certain tiles together in certain situations, in certain ways, they give bonuses. And like, you actually build out your entire environment, which is super interesting. So we'll put this here. The world of above snakes consists of world pieces. Each piece has its own biome and contains various resources. Some world pieces are unique, while others can appear multiple times. Uh, oh yeah, obviously this this game is firmly based in real life, as the Earth is flat, and this is how uh, the initial humans actually made the world that we live in today. To create more world pieces, you need to scout your surroundings. First, your scouting progress is shown at the bottom of the screen. Note that you can stack up to up scouting to to three world pieces, but scouting takes longer the more pieces you hold. I got me some huckleberry. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, Barry. Just just to comment on something Barry said in the chat that will not be named. I am I am still a hundred percent behind any extraction shooter Bungie makes. Like it's I still think it's weird that it's marathon. It's always going to be weird to me, but I'm there for it, man. Like I, Bungie, Bungie is a company that makes, like I like Destiny, even though I don't play Destiny. <laughs> so if they make an extraction shooter and it works well and they support the hell out of it, like I'm there, dude. I absolutely will try it and I hope it's awesome. I really do. 